All right, everybody making a response for Canada 383. He just basically wants to see more people making videos showing stuff from their PC. He's not seeing enough of that in his feed. So pretty easy response for me to make because this is what I usually do anyway. But I don't show a lot of hockey stuff on my channel. And since it's one of the main things he likes to collect, I thought this was a good opportunity for me to show some of my Rangers inserts. Now these aren't like super tough or super expensive inserts, but just some cool looking stuff I like to pick up every now and then. Let's start with some old school Mike Richter stuff. Really nice one from Pacific there. I think a lot of these are gonna be from Pacific. At least some of these first few ones. There's one from Pacific Aurora. And I actually got the idea to pick some of these up years ago from Amish Dave Archer. Because he collects a lot of hockey, mainly Martin Brodeur. And he would pick up some of these old school inserts. And then I would go check to see if Richter was in some of those sets. And sure enough, he usually was. It's a really nice one from Donruss Elite. Numbered to 2500. Now here's some Mark Messier stuff. A bunch of Messier stuff. He was my favorite Ranger. So there's a nice shiny marquee men. I always like to show the back of these older inserts because they were usually really cool too. There's the SP hollow view. The little hologram there. This one's really cool too, this kind of golden die cut. I don't know a whole lot about hockey inserts. I just basically pick up whatever catches my eye. Here are a few top loaded ones. Those other ones were from my binders. There's one from Pinnacle. Has the championship ring there and like what's supposed to be like a little diamond. I remember when Pinnacle started like playing around with those kind of inserts they did in football too where they put like a little diamond on some of the players earrings or where their earrings would be. This one's really nice too. This It's kind of a die cut. Has some acetate action going on too. The Canadian leaf on the background. Numbered to 1997. A few more. I have several more, but I just brought out a few here. Here's one when he was in Vancouver. I mostly want him in a Rangers uniform, but if it's a really nice answer like this, it doesn't really matter to me much. That's another nice one from Pacific. And here's more of a modern insert. 2013-14 actually, a decade ago. But really nice shiny ring die cut with some acetate action. So very like 90s looking insert there from Upper Deck 10 years ago. Let's jump to a few more modern inserts. We'll get back to some old school stuff too, but wanted to show a few more of these slightly newer ones. This is from a few years ago. Really nice looking Matt Zuccarello. Puck personas. They made it look like a little puck. Really like how they did that. There's another pretty nice Zuccarello. Really cool photo. He was one of my favorites when he was here. Tiny guy, but played with a lot of heart. There's a decent looking Capo Caco. UD portraits. Gotta get some more of his stuff. Really like him. Here's an electromagnetic Shesterkin. Again, nothing too crazy there, but decent looking insert. Here's another Shesterkin insert. This is a Intimidation Nation, which was a pretty popular insert back in the 90s. And that's kind of the cool thing about Upper Deck, having a license for all these old Fleer Skybox insert names and designs. They bring some of them back occasionally. 
They're never quite as good as the old ones, but still decent enough. And way more affordable than the older ones. Similar situation here. Here's a big man on ice insert. I remember there was a basketball insert set that kind of looked like this back in the day called Big Men on Court. Which again, they were way more expensive than these hockey ones. So picked up that Laffy. Also picked up the Panarin. So again, very affordable, but still gives me that 90s feel, which is what I'm often looking for. And I thought this one was kind of interesting. I saw somebody pull a card from this set in a group break. And so I went and checked to see if there were any Rangers in there. And then I'm finding this Mika Zabanajad, the cheddar die cut shaped like a piece of cheese. Some people might think it's kind of goofy, but again, kind of interesting, something different from what you see every day. Now let's finish up with some Gretzky stuff. Gretzky only in a Rangers uniform. That's pretty much what I'm most interested in with him. Pretty nice one from Don Russ. Number to 1000. Another pretty cool one there from Upper Deck. Can't see what it says there. It's called Superstar Showdown. So I'm guessing this is like the teammates cards that Upper Deck was releasing around that time where it have like multiple die cuts that you could kind of connect. So there it says Showdown. I guess you would connect like a rival with them or something like that. Yeah, really nice looking card. And this one I'm pretty sure I got from Carter's Kids in a care package many years ago. Nice one from Pinnacle by the numbers. Made it look like a jersey. That's definitely one of my favorites. And then wanted to finish with this one because I got this one from Magnus, who I'm doing this response for. A few months ago, he did a hockey group break, which was mostly a lot of the modern Fleer metal stuff, but he also included a mystery pack, which had a bunch of different stuff for different teams, and I ended up getting this Gretzky Black Diamond Double, number to 2000. But yeah, I really like that, really sweet card. So there are some Rangers inserts from the PC. I have more, but had to rein it in. I kept picking stuff out from the binder and the Rangers box and the stack just kept getting bigger. Maybe I'll do another one of these. Not sure how many of my viewers are into hockey, but who knows, maybe I'll learn that some of you are into it. But I should be back with something else sometime soon.